Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about how to run Python scripts with the command window, or let's say command prompt. So for example, suppose that we have a simple code like this, and if I run the code, you can see here is the output. And suppose that I put the code in a direction, for example, in a directory in my computer, for example, in the H drive and in a folder called, let's say, YouTube. So first of all, I need to copy the path of the file, the containing folder of the file, then I should press Windows and R on my keyboard and you can see a Windows like this pops up. And here you should type CMD, it stands for Command Window, and I press OK. So as you can see, the current directory is C Users and Kulak, which is the name of my user. And first of all, I should change the directory. And you can see that this Python file is, is in my H drive, so I simply type H and a colon and I press enter and you can see that we have changed the directory to our H drive. Then I should type CD and this is the absolute path of that folder. I mean the YouTube folder in that H drive and I press enter and you can see that the directory has been changed. And also you can use another simple method. You should click on this and you should type CMD and if you press enter you can see there it is. The command window has been opened in this directory. And now it's time to run our code. So as you can see, the name of our code is code01. So I simply type Python because I want to run a Python script. So I type Python and this is the name of the file code 01.py. And if I run the code, you can see here is the output. So as you can see, after typing this, you should press enter in order to get these results, or let's say in order to run the code. But maybe you want to store all the results in a text file, which is very, very common. So first of all, you should type Python and the name of the file, which is code01.py, and you put a greater than sign. And for example, this is the name of the file that we want to put all the stuff in that file, which is output.txt. And as you can see, we don't have any output.txt, but it is going to make that file. So we are going to store the results of this file into this file. So if I press enter, you can see the file has been created. So if I open the file, you can see the outputs or the results have been written to this file. 